Coming up, Inspector Pete Moss, Tracer of Lost Persons. In this production I produced for Hugh Barr, my boss at WHAS, we attempt to discover missing bodies, or should I say Inspector Pete Moss, played by Gary Burbank, attempts to explain some most unusual numbers in a recent radio ratings report. The use of humor to bring out certain facts or positions of view can be very effective, as I think this production demonstrates. Here's Inspector Pete Moss investigating all those missing people. And if you detect a little Inspector Clouseau of Pink Panther fame, well, you just might be right. Only the accent has been changed to protect copyrights. Go get them, Pete. Welcome. And join us now for the case of the missing 400,000. A million adult lives are centered on Louisville. What happens when 400,000 turn up missing? Listen as we hear the confident voice of Inspector Pete Moss, tracer of lost persons, respond to this calamity. Missing? 400,000 adults is missing? That's a lot of shirts, skirts, bank accounts, and cans of soup, Lieutenant. Adults, Pete. Actually, 378,000. As many as live in El Paso. Adults whose whole lives, tastes, and dollars are tuned to Louisville. Well, now, Lieutenant, that's a mighty big bunch. Shouldn't be too hard to find, though. Uh, how can I recognize them? Why, they're your neighbors, Moss. My neighbors? Your neighbors. Holy mulch! Somebody stole my neighbors? Well, almost, Pete. Most of the time, they're just forgotten, overlooked. And we think they disappear. Like magic. Right at the edge of the metro. Wow! They leave any clues, leave anything behind for me to check them out? Nope. Take it all with them. Their money, too? Pete... Now, don't let this get around, but those missing folks got one and three-quarter billion dollars a year to spend. Woo-hoo! That's some kind of hidden treasure, Lieutenant. 400,000 bodies, one and three-quarter billion dollars. Where do I find them? Well, actually, the only thing we know, they're just over the metro line, but inside the area of dominant influence, the ADI. You mean to tell me just by stepping across the line, they just disappear? Like magic. Now, Inspector Moss, what are you going to do first? Uh, pray. Oh, yes, friends, how do we reach them? Why, last Sunday, right here in this congregation, there was 400,000 people. And today, there's just one. Uh, what is your name, sir? Uh, I'm Inspector Pete Moss. I'm not exactly in the congregation. Well, how you doing, Pete? Let me do some figuring here. Let me see now. I've got my old figures in front of me here. 400,000 people missing, right? Now, Metro, it says here, Metro, 600,000 people. What's this A-D-I? That'd be 400,000, 600, and 400,000 make up a million. Now, a million is what it is. Huh. Wait a minute here. Now, if you draw a line right here between this metro and the other side of the street, you'll get this uh, 400,000. That's where they are. they simply on the other side of the line. Now, you mean you can't count these people because they're on the other side of this little line. Huh? Well, that's not a case for me. That's discrimination. Them people ain't missing. They just done away with on paper. Why, Pete, the whole rest of the people just disappear. You know, I think our own people do that once in a while. Check operations and let me know. You, sir, excuse me, sir, uh, what are you writing down over there? Well, I work here, and I'm writing this, uh, I'm making this little map out. It's beautiful, and don't you like the little numbers, the little curlicues and things? <laughs> Oh, they're beautiful. They really are pretty. I like your little red line. What's that little red line going down there? Well, that discriminates between Metro and the uh, area here. Now, see the guy who lives on this side of the line? The poor being cannot be counted. <laughs> He's not in Metro. Well, that sounds like to me. Why do you do that? Well, I, it just looks pretty. The little red line going across that little street there. The guy lives on uh, this street. He's... He's nothing. He's just, he's just a figment of our imagination. 
Well, wait a minute. Now, I was over and I seen a lot of people. They're just figments. Yes, they're just figments. The whole thing on the other side of the line are just figments with your imagination. These people can't hear, can't, uh, they can't walk, talk, nothing. They're not even there. Now, come on, they're there, aren't they? Well, they're there figuratively, uh, physically, I'll say. And figuratively, they're not there. Whose figures? Do you like mine? <laughs> Still haven't found them, Lieutenant. Just a lot of figments. I've got the answer, Moss. The one sure way to reach all those thousands of people and hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, goody, Lieutenant. We'll use the tremendous coverage newspaper, the Jerry or Colonel. Oh, one of the great myths of our time, Lieutenant. Sure, yes. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Well, we know that into them 400,000 adults, the coverage paper delivers only 35,000 copies. Now, a drop in the bucket. Besides, the expense count can't afford it. Can't afford it? No, since 1970, the published open line rates for that thing have gone up about 40%. Well, Pete, you're our last hope. What's the answer? A cuddly giant. A what? A cuddly giant. What is this, Inspector Moss? A fairy tale? No, 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 no. My buddy, the cuddly giant. Well, see, he gets the word to 133,000 of our missing adults every week. Wait a minute. 133,000? That's 35% of the whole missing city. That's right, Lieutenant. But if there's 400,000 adults and one and three-quarter billion dollars out there, let's rely on the one friend we can count on. You mean... Yeah, can't you tell? I... I can feel the spirit. Can you feel the spirit? The answer is clear. We gotta listen and count on... Kentuckiana's Cuddly Giant. Cuddly Giant. Cuddly Giant. W-A-G-E is a giant dog.